Dear learners, greetings from IIT Guwahati. Myself, Professor Niranjan Sahu, affiliated to Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIT Guwahati. I welcome you all for this course that is Power Plant System Engineering. On behalf of Center for Educational Technology, IIT Guwahati, this particular course is being offered under National Mission Projects that is National Program on Technology Enhancement Learning that is NPTEL through Massive Open Online Courses MOOCs. So, in this introduction video, I will try to emphasize the course contents and the type of syllabus that we are going to cover. So, if you look at uh, energy in particular, it is the basic necessity for human mankind. So, it comes from various resources, solar, geothermal, chemical, nuclear, hydro and thermal. Hydro and thermal energy is the old concept in which energy is being harnessed either from steam or from water in a large scale. But however, with recent demands in the current scenario, researchers have explored for harnessing energy from various other sources. They are solar, geothermal, chemical, nuclear through various concepts. So, this particular course will mainly highlight the basic technology that are being followed while harnessing energy from various resources. And some of the resources are renewable and some of the energy resources that also we are going to be depleted soon. So, the power plant system engineering is a blending of all such concepts together uh, and accordingly the syllabus is framed. So, while looking at the syllabus, we will try to introduce many concepts and for learners, I further need to emphasize that some of the concepts are already followed in the basic UG courses that is applied thermodynamics. So, in these courses, we will try to give the glimpses of few topics and I will try to emphasize the additional topics that are being covered in this course. So, entire course structure is divided into four modules that is module 1 in which we will mainly focus on the basic reviews of thermodynamics. Then we will try to focus on vapor power systems. Module 3 will cover gas turbines and combined power systems and module 4 will be mainly on hydro and renewable energy based power generation systems. So, in the first module, we will try to introduce the topic regarding thermodynamic estimates, thermodynamic uh, viewpoint of energy which is available in the form of heat, work and we will also try to focus on laws of thermodynamics that will give you basic thermodynamic properties. In addition to that, we will introduce the different phase diagrams for pure substances and try to introduce the properties of stream and Mollier diagrams and how you are going to use the steam tables. In the module 2 which is mainly the steam power systems, in fact most of these lectures in this module are based on the power generation through steam. Although learners have basic idea of harnessing power from steam through Rankine cycle modeling and many topics are being covered in the basic UG levels. But in this course, I will try to emphasize what has been covered in the basic courses and what is the newness in this particular uh, segment. So, if you look at the steam power generation systems, it is mainly governed through the Rankine cycles and the main components that include turbines, boilers, condensers and pump. But uh, however, in the basic UG courses, we try to mainly focus on the steam turbines and particularly Rankine cycle and to some extent condenser. But uh, in this module, we will try to emphasize the modern stream generator in which different con components are introduced. They are boilers, superheater, reheaters, economizers, air preheaters and 
combustion of coal. Additionally, we will also introduce the concept of cooling towers and condenser which constitutes the feed water systems for the steam power plant. So, in the steam turbines we will introduce the impulse and reaction turbines, pressure velocity compoundings and also in the steam nozzles. We also will try to emphasize the energy and exergy auditing for the steam power systems. Now, similarly, in the module 3 that is gas turbines and uh, combined power systems, learners are already um, get familiar with Breton cycles which is the basic air standard cycle for gas turbine power generation. But in this particular module, we will try to introduce some more concepts like reheat and regeneration uh, concepts for gas turbines for improving the power and efficiency. Additionally, we will talk about intercooling for compressors and aircraft propulsions. One of the basic importance of this gas turbine system is that it can be integrated with other power generation systems. That way we call this as a combined power uh, generation systems. Many times we also use the word co-generations. Additional topic for this will be energy and exergy analysis for gas power systems. And in the last module that is module 4, we will mainly focus on hydro and renewable power generation systems. Although the concept of power generation systems through water is a very old concept, but still it is being considered as a renewable because no, there is no fuel requirement for the entire power generation unit. In this fluid mechanics course, learners are also introduced hydraulic machines where we talk about pumps and turbines. But specifically for energy hydropower generation systems, we will emphasize mainly on hydro turbines, mainly on Pelton wheels, Francis turbines, also to some extent Kaplan turbine. Apart from hydro, we have uh, energy from ocean waves. We have also uh, nuclear energy concepts through nuclear fission and fission. Then we also can harness power from the wind. So, we call this as a through an device what we call as wind turbines. Then we have also solar energy is also a renewable form of energy that can give you solar thermal power generation systems. Then there are some potentials that we can harness energy from the underground crust of earth that falls under geothermal energy. And lastly, we require energy storage because many power generation systems that has to cater the need or demand uh, from, from the end users. To cater this, we need to store the energy in a particular platform which can be supplied as and when it is needed. And such type of energy storage systems falls under thermal storage, compressed air storage, pumped hydro storage and electric storage. So, this is the overall uh, core structure of this uh, power plant system engineering and I hope all these components will be beneficial for the learners. In this slide, I just want to introduce few reference and textbooks that can be covered uh, like uh, this basic thermodynamics by Sapiro. Roger and Mayhew, then Stop and McConey and more importantly there is a book called M. M. Wackel which is power plant technology that covers most of the syllabus. Then we have P. K. Nag power plant system engineering. Although these are the some textbook references, learners are also advised to look for various other topics available in variety of platforms even on NPTEL MOOCs platform. And towards the end, I will just try to say that audience uh, for this course could be UG and PG. They it also the way the structure of the course is designed, it can fit to mechanical, aerospace and energy engineering streams. It also fits to practicing engineer and scientist from the allied streams. And what we require is something like basic undergraduate courses, which normally falls in these three disciplines. Uh, like uh, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics. So, that is what I said it is a prerequisite is almost nil because if they are under the three parent disciplines mechanical and aerospace and energy, they would have taken the basic courses by default in the undergraduate level. 
Now, entire course is in modular uh, pattern which I showed that are four modules and it covers 12 week course with 30 to 35 hours lecture contents. Further, I need to emphasize that at the end of every lecture, um, there are some problem solving part. So, learners are advised look for the problem solving on their own which will be helpful for final examination. So, with this basic introductions, I conclude this video. Thank you for your attention and finally, I wish best of luck. Thank you.